The 1950s was a decade of the conservative look. Following World War II, the world was relieved with the end of this long and deadly war. The end of the war created a new look movement within fashion. Christian Dior, the designer brand, was a major champion of this new look fashion. He wanted to bring out the femininity in fashion. This new look consisted of silhouetted clothing, long and full skirts, and cinch waists. Fashion was seen as conservative, with below the knee skirts being very popular. The collar, known as the Peter Pan collar, was also a common thing. This conservative fashion style would soon be revolutionized as the pivotal 1960s inched closer. The 1960s is sometimes called the era of the counterculture, especially in America. People began to challenge conformity and social norms, as demonstrated by the rise of the hippies. Marilyn Monroe was one of the major figures that influenced fashion during this time period. She was also the icon of the bright red lipstick. Miniskirts were especially the star of fashion during this time period. Although criticized by many, young women embraced the miniskirt. The exposed knee that came with the miniskirt was a culture shock across the world. The midi and maxi skirts were in style as well, but the miniskirt had taken over the world in the 1960s. The style as the 1970s came around was quite similar to the 1960s. However, fashion took on a more natural look. The iconic bright red lipstick was replaced with lip gloss, and big sunglasses were in. As the miniskirt could no longer go any higher, hot pants were their replacement. These were hip-hugging, tight shorts. Maxi dresses were introduced as well, similar to the long skirts of the 1950s. As fashion evolved, gender-fluid styles began to emerge. See when we hit the job, I work all of y'all toe to toe. Grab all them wallflowers out the corners, here we go. The 1980s was when the age of technology began. The computer became a household item for personal use. It was also a time period where the Cold War was at a climax. Big name brands such as Calvin Klein and Ralph Lauren became top of the fashion industry. A new division of fashion was also born, seen as street fashion of the 1980s. Students created their own styles, ranging from punk to new wave styles. Some of these styles included denim and leather jackets. A style of sportswear emerged at this time as well. Brands like Nike and Reebok were manufacturers of this style. Women also became more conscious about physical activity. This desire to be active led to the trend of bodysuits and leggings. As part of this, bright and neon colors came in style, along with animal prints. Fashion became more relaxed during this time period, as the general public began to dress simpler. However, this simple and comfortable style was really emphasized in the 1990s. The trends of the 80s continued to be prominent in the 90s, but outfits became even more casual and minimalistic. The simple slip dress was a key trend during this time period, and baggy graphic tees were introduced. Sportswear became even more popular in this decade, the three prominent subcultures of the decade included grunge, preppy, and punk. Grunge consisted of cooler colors and a flannel with ripped jeans. Preppy was inspired by hip hop, where people either wore plaid skirts and a tank top or baggy shirts and high-waisted jeans. At last, punk was inspired by the skaters of the 1990s. Ripped jeans and leather jackets were common, along with the iconic bright and spiky hair. I've been in fashion, I think, since I was like 17 or 18. I started working retail. When I was younger, I was really into like the baggy pants thing. I know that's really big right now, but I was a little bit of a tomboy when I was a kid. So I really liked like the small top baggy bottoms look. Modern fashion is like the whole point of Fern, I feel like. Anything that's trendy, we're getting in as soon as possible. 
I've definitely noticed that trends recycle like very quickly, especially with social media and like TikTok and stuff. Trends just don't stay as long as they used to. Like maybe when our parents were young, things stretched out for a really long time, but things recycle just super quick now. Crop tops, baggy jeans, like the mom fit jeans are super in. Platform shoes are super in. Modern fashion has been influenced a lot by social media. I think TikTok especially for like Gen Z has been like one of the biggest influencers of it. People being able to share like their outfits of the day just so easily, I think inspires other people around the world. We're gonna see more of like a technological kind of feel to our fashion. I think that like the like futuristic kind of style is gonna come. It's important to know that fashion is like ever changing, ever evolving. Authenticity, just being yourself and not being afraid to be yourself and expressing yourself that way. People get caught up in trends and wanting to fit in. And I think that that's like the antithesis of fashion. Being yourself and creating a look that people can look at you and be like, I see their personality. I think that's like the whole point of fashion. Tous les matins, c'est la même ritournelle Un petit café Elle s'enroule dans son grand châle de laine Pour se réchauffer Caresse le chat qui passe